This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the launch press conference for Carnby Brook, Feb 19th in Manchester. It's actually happening, Terry. Well, it's happening. That, that's why we're here. You know, at long last, it's, it's happening. Um, I want to pick up on a, a lot of things in that press conference. Let's start with how difficult Team Khan were. Uh, Kel said that, you said that. What was the main issue that they were talking about in getting this fight over the line? Main issue initially were, were, were weights. You know, uh, that went on for forever and a day. You know, I mean, we've been going at this fight for probably five months, you know, which is like ludicrous, you know. You know, but here, uh, here we are, it, it's made, and, you know, obviously we, we're just grateful that, you know, he's got the chance to finally put this fight to bed that's haunted us, haunted our life. For forever and a day since 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 we were young. Is it a relief? It's a, it's a massive relief, yeah. It's a massive relief. Um, Ami was talking about how he used to batter Kel in sparring, he used to play with him, use one hand. The coaches said, "Go easy on Kel." Um, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about that, Terry? What do you think about that? I hope there's not a true story from Kel's side, you know. And, and admittedly, you know, if I'm I'm telling exact truth, you know, as it is. Kel did say to me, you know, that Amir were very fast, you know, very, you know, the fastest fighter he's ever, you know, he's ever, ever fought. But I know that Kel did get to him, you know, and and it were it were interesting. So I do know that Kel bossed it, you know. And I think Amir obviously knows that, that Kel's a serious threat. And finally, we're going to get to see, see this fight. And give it to the fans, because they... You know, it'd be so sad if we'd have left this sport, you know, we are we are at this fight ever happening. So yeah, I am I am pleased that it's finally here. It's all it's still all a bit of a shock because you know, in the back of my mind I thought, will it ever because there's that many twists and turns and it sent to be honest with you, it's probably sentimental. You know, and everybody and the dog and what I've been it's been a nightmare. So it does land on Sky Sports box office in the UK, boxer putting this on. Um I'm sure there were several offers on the table, Terry. Why boxer? Well, we purely we, we, we picked boxer because, you know, uh, Sky's always been Kel's home. You know, it's always been where the fights are shown. You know, I didn't want it to end up on, you know, Bands TV or, you know, out in some Arabian TV or that sort of thing. You know, I just didn't want none of that to happen. You know, like I said, we... We did have we had, we had offers we had a lot bigger offers than you know than what than what we've done here you know but it would have been sad because I think this fight would have got lost and the fans want to see it and Kel is about giving it to the fans it's not about money and people saying he's washed up and he's like is he ache you know what I mean Kel's still still there up with the best welterweights in the world and I still believe on his day and given the right camps I know we fought Crawford and. You know, we fought him through COVID and we, we flew all there as a basically like a one man band, you know, and took the best on the world in and, and honestly Kel were it were it were an exceptional condition for that. You know, he he got caught but you know, people who, who said that he's washed up, you know, Kel's Kel's thirty five year old, Crawford who's considered one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, you know, is is one year younger than him, you know, so I don't know how people can say this and you know people have come out and said it and, and basically tried to, to piss on the party you know what, what what pisses me off and that's I mean sour grapes from from Eddie you know that when I see him going on about you know this being a bus flush I don't know referring to some sort of poker game you know but believe me this is far from any bus flush and he's he's just upset you know that he he didn't land it you know on their channel and we what it, it should have got lost you know, on, on, on that TV, it, it got lost and the fans wouldn't want to see it, you know. So it's simple as that. We got offered, like I said, far more money from, from Dubai. You know, we got offered far more money from, from Eddie, you know, for, for him to, to piss on this, you know, does, does piss me off. Let's talk about the fight itself. Is it enough for Kel to win on points? You want, you want to knock out Amir Khan here, surely? 100%, you know, you know I know what, what Kel said forever you know it will, it will knock him out you know and and that's what I believe he'll do you know like I've told you we, we do appreciate you know that Amir is very fast you know and 
I, I echo Kel's words, the timing beats speed, you know, and that's what we, we believe. I believe that Kel will get him. And finally, Amir did say a lot of times in that press conference that he's boxed at a much higher level, that Kel, he's coming down levels to face Kel Brook. Do you think that was a bit disrespectful? Well, t totally. You know, I mean, we've we both basically fought, fought the same fighters. I mean, I know when, when he fought Kello, Canelo, sorry, arguably probably the, you know, a, a silly place to go. And at that time, maybe he should have been fighting, fighting Kel. We did an equally mad thing and matched him and fought the worst, biggest pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world at the time, in, in Glodin, Glen, Gennady Golovkin. You know, and he were... In history, he's down as the biggest punching middleweight ever above Marvin Agler, above them all. His knockout percentages were 92%, you know, but Kel jumped up to weights and took on the most feared man on the planet. You know, Amir went and fought Crawford, so did we. You know, we know, and, and on the day, I believe that, that Kel's up there with, with the greatest in the world. You know, but now finally we've got a chance to see who is the greatest in UK. Well, let's roll on Feb 19th Sky Sports Box Office in Manchester. We'll speak to you soon, Terry. Thank you. Bye. -bye. That's it.